I felt like someone out there needed to hear that the storm is typically the darkest right before it breaks. And that the, the battle is typically the toughest right before it ends. And so I know there's somebody out there that can see me. There's somebody out there can hear my voice right now that they're in it. And they may be in the worst of it. And I would just encourage you to keep on pushing, to keep on fighting, to keep on taking it one day at a time. Because there is a blessing on the other side of every single struggle. And what I know is that that blessing could be closer than you think. It could be weeks away, it could be days away, quite frankly, it could be hours away. But until you live to fight another day, and unless you live to, to fight another day, then, then you'll never know. been following me for any time, specifically those of you that saw uh, the post that I put out two weeks ago. Last week, I was in a dark place and fought the worst case of depression I've ever had. Before this post, there were only two people that knew. Sometimes you don't realize you're actually drowning when you're trying to be everybody else's anchor. We had just wrapped up our biggest leadership event of the year, four days with our top agents. We started early and ended late, pouring our heart and soul. I gave two formal speeches, conducted one-on-one -on -one coaching with each agent, hosted award ceremonies, and was on 24-7. It was an emotional marathon. Our theme this year was breaking barriers, and we created space for people to expose and work through areas of their lives that had been buried for years, some decades. The event was an overwhelming success. Keyword, overwhelming. We wrapped up around 6 p.m. on Sunday, I drove home and went to bed. I woke up Monday feeling empty. I didn't want to get out of bed. I blew off my morning workout. I got to the office and began powering through. I thought productivity would cure the emptiness, so productive I was. I worked on multiple projects, conducted interviews each day, spoke at our GVL Hustle event, had a promo photo shoot, was interviewed on two podcasts, recorded an episode of the Sales Wolves podcast and the Breadwinner podcast, put out five daily vlogs and my weekly vlog, did a live Q&A, posted four times per day, had hundreds of conversations in my messages, and got four workouts in, all the while feeling lost and defeated. I believe in the strength and vulnerability more than anyone, but I thought, what good is it going to do for me to talk about how I'm feeling right now? So I just kept going through the motions. How do you provide value when you feel worthless? How do you inspire with a broken spirit? How do you coach when you feel like you're not even in the game? I still don't have all the answers, but simply typing this out has given me strength and a deeper sense of understanding. I'm headed out of the country for a week with my wife and daughter, and I'm turning my phone off. If you're reading this, know that I have so much love and appreciation for you than you'll ever know. When I was really just in a dark, dark place and in a bad spot and wanted to you know, do what I said I was going to do from from day one, which is show, you know, the good, bad, and the ugly, be completely transparent, completely vulnerable. And, you know, we say that, right? It's a great, a great buzzword. It's a great uh, cliche that's been thrown around left and right lately, but we say it, but how many of us are actually living it? Um, and, you know, that wasn't just a, a, a moment of weakness. It's, you know, a, a place that I've, I've been and, and dealt with for, for years, uh, as, as I've been, you know, documenting my life here on, on social media, but you know, you have that struggle of, you know, do people really want to hear uh, everything that's going on? Um, how's that going to help somebody today? Uh, but what I realized through that process and through putting that stuff out there is that yes, <laughs> yes, people do want to hear it and people do want to know um, what's really going on in people's lives and they want to know, you know, that they're not the only ones that are that are dealing with anxiety, that are dealing with you know, dark places and depression and, and all these things that, that is just life, right? It's just the human experience. And so first and foremost, I just want to say thank you. I want to say thank you to all of you, the, the Facebook messages, the DMs, the emails, the calls and texts that I got, the outpouring of support and appreciation was, um, I would say, humbling at 
best, um, but it was honestly, it was a little overwhelming uh, for me. But I want to say thank you uh, for that. It means the world to me that you guys would even pay attention, uh, no less that you would engage and, and certainly that you would reach out, um, you know, in a moment of, in a moment of need. I also want to say, let me switch arms here because shoulders about to fall off. Uh, I also want to say, you know, I, I just got off a pretty incredible phone call uh, a minute ago, and there's been some really, just some unreal things happening over the last couple of days. Sorry, the sun's a little crazy. Uh, some amazing things happening over the last couple of days, and I felt like someone out there needed to hear that the storm is typically the darkest right before it breaks, and that the the battle is typically the toughest right before it ends. And so I know there's somebody out there that can see me. There's somebody out there can hear my voice right now that they're in it and they may be in the worst of it. And I would just encourage you to keep on pushing, to keep on fighting, to keep on taking it one day at a time because there is a blessing on the other side of every single struggle. And what I know is that that blessing could be closer than you think could be weeks away, could be days away, quite frankly, could be hours away. But until you live to fight another day, and unless you live to, to fight another day, then, then you'll never know. And man, there's been some things that are happening this week that it just, <laughs> it really opens my mind to the fact that things can be incredibly difficult, incredibly beautiful, all in a matter of hours, in a matter of days, in a matter of weeks. And, and that is life, right? You have to go through those difficult things to be able to appreciate the good. You have to go through the darkness to be able to even know what the light is and what the light looks like and the, what the light experience feels like. And, and man, it's just, been, uh, it's just been on my mind. And I just got done with this run and uh, I was just kind of like going through my mind over and over and over. And I just trying to figure out like how, how, can, how can I help people in a more tangible way? How can I show people and prove that to people? You know, the, the first way I would think is just to be able to show people in my life. But unless I'm showing the bad, then how will you know that that's the experience that took to get to the good, right? Unless I show the darkness, then how will you guys even know what the light looks like? Uh, because you'll only be able to truly understand it when you can experience it. And the only way that you can experience via third party, the only way you can experience via somebody else that you may never come into contact with in person is by being able to experience every aspect of it. And that includes the bad. That includes the dark. And man, it's just a, it's a freeing feeling to be able to know that I can be, you know, be on here and be completely honest about everything that's going on without any fear of judgment, without any fear of, of what other people think because we've all got stuff. There's nothing more special about you than there is about me. There's nothing more special about me than there is about any single person that's on here right now. But it's all of us being vulnerable enough to talk about the things that we're going through that's gonna allow each and every single person to be able to get through those things when it happens in their life, to be able to (laughs) <laughs> to be able to navigate through that minefield a little bit easier, having somebody else tell you, hey, there was a mine right there. And hey, I went through a mine and it, and it was right there. And being able to navigate and weave in and out of those mines so that you can get to the other side without as many wounds, that you can get on the other side without ex- experiencing as much pain. But there will be pain. Pain is a prerequisite of, of any amount of growth. Pain is a prerequisite of any of any life experience and any advancement and any progression, but there's a big difference between pain and suffering. Really without pain, we wouldn't, we wouldn't know when to stop. We wouldn't know the boundaries of our life. We wouldn't be able to, to protect ourselves without pain. But suffering is when you take that external pain and you play it over and over and over and over and over inside. Suffering is when you take that external pain and you multiply it times 10, you multiply it times 100, and you hope, multiply it times 1,000 over the period of days and weeks and months and years. That's suffering, and that is not required. Suffering is not required for growth. It's not required for progression. It's not required you know, to get to the other side. Do you seek to be known 
more than to be worth knowing? This is the question I challenged myself with this week. After seven days with my phone turned off, it became clear to me. I seek two things, growth and greatness. I also gained clarity in how social media fits in my pursuit towards these two things. From the early days of setting and recapping my goals on Facebook Live to every piece of content I've put out on a daily basis, social media is my accountability tool. I refuse to preach on that which I do not practice. That means for me to continually increase the quality of my content to make an impact at scale, I must grow at a rapid pace and settle for nothing less than great. You may not need to be great, but the world needs your greatness. Whatever God has placed on you that could ever be described as great was never meant for you anyway. It's a stewardship that has been given to you. Greatness never belongs to the one who carries it. It belongs to the world that needs it. The fight for growth and greatness is not easy, as pain is the prerequisite, but it's worth it. The warrior's legacy can be written only on the other side of pain. The way of the warrior teaches us that we cannot stand in our greatness if we cannot stand in our pain. You will never live the life you were created to live or achieve your greatest dreams if you're not willing to bear the weight of that greatness and pay the price of pain that journey demands. All these quotes came from a book I read by Erwin McManus this week titled The Way of the Warrior. It is no coincidence that I stumbled upon his message this year, was able to interview him last month, and this book made it into the trip that I was on this week. It spoke directly to my heart, and I was filled with conviction, assurance, and hope. The book is centered around this truth. You cannot bring peace to the world if you have never come to know peace within yourself. I finished with one last quote that brought me to tears. So many times I have found myself most vulnerable after I had seemed most unstoppable. Those who see you from a distance will notice the battles you fight for them, but not the ones you fight for yourself. I was dealing, you know, with some issues a few weeks ago. It was hard because it's like, you know, I'm I'm sitting here, you know, talking about all this. World. Yeah, like, talking about all this, you know, trying to inspire and trying to motivate and try to provide tactical value and all this stuff. Meanwhile, I'm going through, you know, darkness of my own and depression and and things. And it's like, well, you know, you think to yourself, is that somehow going to negate the value that I was trying to provide by showing this human human side of my life that I was dealing with and does it somehow take away and what I realized through that process and um, through the just messages and talking with people and just feedback is that not only does it not negate it it makes it so much more real right because everybody's going through it yeah like everybody has stuff um, and I think that's the biggest encouragement to everybody out there that's listening and watching this, that you are not alone uh, in any thing that you're feeling, um, but that the only way Action. you stay there is to stay there. <laughs> like, like the only way you stay in it and the only way it gets worse is to not take one step and make one bit of progress today. And you know what? It, a lot of people think that they got to beat themselves up to take action. And what I would do, what I would, if you say, say you're a person that's just absolutely can't get out of bed in the morning and you're like, I don't want to face this day. This is the worst ever. What I would encourage you to do is take 10 deep breaths. And as you're taking those breaths, see you right where you are and love you. Just be like, man, I love me. I love the me that is laying in this bed and wallowing in this depression. And man, I'm going to get up after these 10 breaths and I'm going to walk to the door and come back. Like if that, if, if you have never done that, then make it a small goal, make it a small goal. Mm-hmm. Don't make, don't be like, I'm going to get up today and grab the world by the tail and pull it down and shove it in my pocket. That's not going <laughs> to, that's, it's, it's not going to happen. Right? So so uh, make small goals. I'm going to get walk to the door. And, and, and tomorrow, I'm going to take those 10 breaths, level myself, and walk to the end of the driveway. And, and the next day, I'm going to go get in the car and drive to the doctor's office. <laughs> and then the next, you see what I'm yeah. saying? Like you yeah, yeah. just set these things in place. Sometimes you win, sometimes you learn, right? But continual learning, continual progression forward, 
and you may be that person that that you're at that you're you're at the pinnacle of the position you're in and you know that to go any further you have to really put yourself out there and learn something new well guess what take the first small step today take those same 10 deep breaths enormous breaths fill your lungs with oxygen love the you where you are now and determine where you're going and take the first step so yeah and i think uh kind of to close there may be somebody that's listening to this and they're like jeez you know what are these guys talking about like i don't i don't need i don't i don't need this like i'm i'm good i'm great and and i would say that if that's you then you have an intense responsibility when you are great to look for others that aren't um look around you and see who's struggling see who you can you know tell when they look you in the eye that there's something going on Mm -hmm. and to be a light in their darkness sure um that to me is is a is a responsibility and to realize that if if you are someone that has aspirations um to do great things i don't know if it's possible to achieve greatness at a high level and not go through some of the things we're talking about. And so if you haven't experienced it yet, I would just say, listen to the words that we're saying, start learning about these things because it's coming at some point. So I mean, it's, if, if Everybody it's, hits yeah, it's life. Yeah. Um, so anyways, it's a little bit of a, um, darker <laughs> topic, <laughs> darker topic to talk about darkness. Mm. Um, but I like the way it started out. That was interesting. I was like, crap, we're, you're, you're giving away all the good stuff before we get started right here. <laughs> <laughs> but with that guys, uh, we're always here to help. That's the reason why we created this podcast is we wanted to, um, you know, be able to support and, um, you know, provide tactical value to not just salespeople. It's a sales rules podcast, but as we've said so many times, everybody's in sales. Everybody. And someone out there right now is going to have to sell themselves to take on those getting out of bed. Out of sell bed. themselves on taking that next step. Sell yep. themselves on the fact that I'm not alone and I'm not the only one that's going through this. And so that's why we do this. That's why we're here. If we can help in any way, shoot us a message. Um, I'll respond. I will not. <laughs> I haven't checked messages in in like eight months. Send Tyler a message. (laughs) Really?